Welcome everyone to another Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Today we are taking a look at the Scabbard Heavy Transport. The Scabbard Heavy Transport is an unlock level 15 size class 5 capital vessel coming to us from creator Excalibur. This is a design that Excalibur himself asked for me to give a look, so we are going to dive into it today and see what it offers you. Starting at the top rear section of the ship, you see we have some turret markings where you can place turrets, however they are currently left off in order to cut down the initial build cost. There is also this landing pad section which can easily be used for a smaller size SV if you need it. Entering through this door, we come into our airlock area which you can use to launch either another small vessel from in here or just to fly off into space while you are up in orbit. Heading into this door, we come into an elevator that leads us down into our food production area where you can see we have a total of 54 grow plots marked into three different sections on each side. There are also oxygen tanks in the walls and we have a total of six fridges in here as well as two food processors. Heading into this door, we come into a mechanical area where you see we have more oxygen tanks. We also have some cargo boxes here. We have our gravity generator and our offline protection. And we have our warp drive fuel tank here. Back on this end of the room, you see we have three doors with the middle one being the elevator. However, it also has a door on the other side. So all three of these lead into the same room where you'll find some more cargo boxes, oxygen station, armor lockers, and a repair station, as well as three more doors. The side doors lead to additional pilot seats, as well as nice little vantage points where you can look out from the ship. The middle door gives you access to another elevator, and this one leads us down into the bridge area. As you can see here, we have a clone chamber, nice little kitchenette area. On this side, we have our medic station, and a lounge area. Through here we have our bridge with our passenger seats and pilot seat. On the other side of the room you see we have two doors with H above them. These are doors that lead out to the walkway balcony above the hangar bay area and on both sides of the elevator we have our shower and toilet combinations. Continuing back down this elevator we come to the lowest floor which is our main hangar bay area. In here, you'll see that you have a spot for your small vessels. You also have two spots for hover vessels, as well as a repair bay module in here, and plenty of room to move things around as you're trying to get them positioned right. Over here on the SV section of this, you can see right by the door coming from the elevator, we have a repair station, as well as two armor lockers, and an oxygen station, plus two more armor lockers on that side. Going into here, we come into the main production area where you'll find six advanced constructors, four of your medical scanners, as well as four cargo boxes and two ammo boxes on each side tucked away in the ceiling. We also have another oxygen station as well as another repair station here. And on this side, we have a spot specifically for cargo style vessels, whether they be hover vessels or small vessels so you can dock them here and be right next to your main production area. Now at the back of the ship and the back of the hangar bay, we have another door. This leads into another production area where you'll find a large number of your fuel tanks as well as your core and your warp drive. Now one thing I found interesting is that above this section, there is this little area where you have some more fuel tanks as well as cargo boxes. And going up an elevator here, you come up to another area where you have your generators. The catch is, I could not find any way into this area without using the God Mode cheat to do so. So I do not know if this is simply an oversight by Excalibur in the design or he intentionally left this closed off where you cannot get to it except if you need to do some heavy maintenance. The Scabbard Heavy Transport is once again an unlock level 15 size class 5 capital vessel. With 16 fuel tanks it can hold 96,000 fuel and with many things powered down in an economy mode setting, this has over 145 hours of use. It also comes with 28 oxygen tanks, giving you a total of 44,002, which it needs 6,953 oxygen to fill it up. There are 9 ventilators, 3 oxygen stations, 
the one medic station, and the one clone chamber. As I showed earlier, there are numerous places on the design to mount turrets, however straight from the workshop none are included. This helps to cut down on cost, but more importantly gives you full customization on what types of turrets you will be using. It comes with a total of 32 cargo boxes and 4 ammo boxes. There is also the 6 fridges, 2 food processors, and 6 advanced constructors. When it comes to building the scabbard, the worst things you're going to have to worry about will of course be the iron and sathium. It also takes a significant amount of neodymium and cobalt, which might make it a little bit more difficult to build once you hit level 15. And of course, coming with 6 advanced constructors, you're going to see a bit more in zascosium and restroom needed at 280 of each. Overall, I like the scabbard heavy transport. It's definitely well built as far as the functionality and I appreciate the forethought of having a section just for cargo themed vessels making it easier for you to bring in your supplies and have it right there next to your production area. While some of the resources may make it more of a mid game design, this definitely will carry you around for a while and provide you plenty of capabilities. Once again, this is the Scabbard Heavy Transport by Excalibur. If you're interested in checking out the ship in your own game, I will have a link in the description below. And if you try it out and like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a nice comment for it on the workshop page. Also, be sure to leave any creative suggestions on the workshop page as well. Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment, and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I am your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.